Where's that play button? Open says me. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier. Detected. Curious. what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. Synth unit, you were scheduled for maintenance. Anything you'd like to report? Nothing to report, sir. I carried out my duty. Doctor Ao saw you accessing a terminal. You know you are not permitted to access terminals in that section. Is Dr. Ao mistaken? Yes. I mean, no, he's not. But I was only... What is it? Were you or weren't you accessing a terminal in SRB? I was. But I swear it's not what it sounds like. I was cleaning the terminal and it... It switched on by mistake. I was just shutting it down. Was that a stutter? Have you developed a defect, unit? Maybe you need to be reset. Sir, I assure you that won't be necessary. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. You don't want me to tell you twice. Now get back to your duties. Always be vigilant. We have many enemies.
glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. Did you expect it to? No, of course not. It was far more likely that it would just blow up. But it didn't. You made it in. Were you able to find the serum? Got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. How are you going to test it? On myself, of course. That was the plan. This serum will only counteract the specific strain of FEV that I infected myself with. There's no telling what it might do to anyone else. has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. I'll be weak and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. After I got you leave, all day if you do. I get to do a full security sweep before you can get out of here too. Was all of that worth it? All I know is that Dez authorized the op. I just hope we didn't go through all that for the new coffee maker. See you soon. And the new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So, is any of that true? Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I... I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Why should I join you? If you're having any doubts, you shouldn't. Not very many of us live to retirement. But if you're like me, that doesn't matter. There are great wrongs that need righting. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Call me... Charmer. Charmer? Hm. Fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded... After you leave, so be careful I get to do a full security. security. Hey. Before you, you never to. can tell when you're being watched. Hey, Piper. What do you need? Nothing else for now. Okay.
lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe. You take its precautions not to be disappointed. Things are chaotic. Testimona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. Testimona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. What, you don't think I can handle a dangerous job? The danger doesn't concern me. Your work at the switchboard proves you can deal with that. I just hope the mission doesn't require knowledge about synths and our procedures. Something you've had scant opportunity to learn. You guys recruited me. I don't need your attitude. Charming. I'm sure you and Glory will be fast friends. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H222. So Headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. Paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. What's a dead drop? Come on, Blue. This is an amateur hour. Oh dear lord. A dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you've given the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Deacon's record is the best. You can learn a lot from him. Tinker Tom's got me doing accurate worth the scrap. Attention! Halbert Pilot to Station Epsilon. Halbert Pilot report to Station Epsilon. That is all. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. What changed your mind? Nothing changed my mind. I promised you I'd return to the Brotherhood, and I've kept my end of the bargain. Do I need to remind you why you made that promise in the first place? No, that won't be necessary. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. Proctor Ingram. Wow, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. What do the actuators do? Pretty simple, really. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. 
We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck.
better days, haven't it? Hey. Hmm? Hey, Piper. You look like you could use a pick-me-up. Your thoughts? Wonder what the Institute's... That's all. All right. Hey. Just... Just let me know. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic... Hey, where are you going? We're almost done with Prime. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. What's Prime armed with? Prime has two weapon systems, his eye laser and his nuke pack. The eye laser can target a hostile from hundreds of yards out and take it down with pinpoint accuracy. His nukes are modified Mark 28 nuclear bombs. They used to drop the things from bombers during the war. Just one of the nukes is equivalent to about three or four fat man shells. Basically, whatever it hits isn't getting up again. His eye laser is almost ready to go, but without nukes to load into his pack, he's fighting at less than half his capability. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Can I build the nukes like I built the actuators? I could build you a thousand nuke casings, right now. But we've got nothing to put inside them. The Mark 28s have a specialized nuclear payload that requires the correct balance of fissile materials in order for them to detonate properly. In other words, I'd love to mix you a cocktail, but I'm all out of liquor. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. Huh. 
Oh no, not again. Yep. You better stock back up on the anti-radiation gear. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the Glowing Sea. I suggest you head out there first, and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight.